welcome back to the channel. Vic and I are off on our merry way once again. Once again. But these moments are exciting. You know, we get off work and we try to get have everything ready to where we can just hook up and go, but sometimes that don't work out. But today it worked out really good. Um, within what about 30 minutes of Vic getting off, we were able to pull out. So this week we're headed. Let's see, let's see if he knows where he's taking us. Vic. We are going to Beach Fork State Park in West Virginia, uh, Bourbonsville, West Virginia. Bourbon, yeah, I think yeah. And that's we have about a, a Barbersville. Barbersville, yeah, this one, okay. West Virginia. We have about um, a three-hour ride uh, from Ohio, so we're just getting started. It is raining a little bit. It don't look like it's gonna rain all day, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. Um, also, this is Memorial Day weekend, so we have an extra day. So we're gonna do three days there. And uh, we saw some videos, looks pretty exciting. I think they have a pool there, but I don't think we're gonna do no swimming. <laughs> Vic, Vic stays focused as I, as I talk over here. But we are rolling out and um, we'll let you know when we get there. Yep, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Lord, I'll let y'all look that way. Look that way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. Yep. Got across the bridge. And we're in West Virginia. So, we are headed to Beach Fork in West Virginia. We've gotten off the highway a little bit ago. But we noticed on some of the videos, they were talking about how this road is narrow. And so you kind of you see how that guy up there has his tires on the yellow line. It is definitely a little tight coming through here. So, if you're coming this way, be careful. It's definite. They need to widen this a little bit, but it don't look like you can because the houses is right here. <laughs> they right here at the street. So, just be careful. Take your time. They called it right, so if you watching our video, you were spot on about this road being narrow. So we did take your video into consideration. Ooh, he dropped off a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, they called it. <laughs> I think the best time to come up through here is definitely going to be during the daytime because I don't even see like many street lights up through here. And, it, and it's, it will be dark. The edge is, is right there. You don't have, really have a burn and, and there. This, this is going to be difficult with two, two trailers coming in opposite directions. Well, the best thing to do, I would say, is to slow down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> through the 
winding hills, narrow roads. We have made it to Beach Take Fork. Take next right. Oh, it's beautiful once you get back in here. <laughs> everybody hello good morning we go out and uh check out the park right now our section anyway it looks to be a pretty big park and we'll uh add um a clip well we can't add a map normally we can <laughs> they didn't give us a map so um we'll try to show you a view of what's going on in our specific section which is the very first section when, once you enter the park it's the very first section off to your left. And I'm going to say this section here is the only section that has full hookup. Everything else is uh, water and electric. So, right. And then the uh, primitive uh, tent camping. Right. So, so it's, it rained all night, so we, we wasn't feeling like no video. <laughs> yeah. It rained all night, and the wind picked up, so it was one of those... Um, one of those nights but uh, so far it's clear it's no sun yet we gonna hope for it but there's no sun and uh, it looks like it want to rain a little more so we're gonna run out right now while we can and try to get some different clips of some stuff so you all stay tuned all right okay everybody we are out for a little drive um, Right across, not too far from where we are, is a little pond. I'm not sure. It's fishing over here, Victor. Mm -hmm. yep. Victor said there was fishing over this way. So it's right across from us. Um, the sites are a little close. So this would be ideal for if you came in a group or um, had a meetup or something. The sites are already close. So that would be ideal for that. This inside, and they have a lot of grass. Mm -hmm. um, that back row is sites 35 to 43. The next row is sites 25 to 34. The next row of sites are 14 to 24. And the very first row, which is where we are, is um, site 1 to 13. That's the very front row. And it looks like any site, any end site has the extra grass area. So. Yeah, which makes um, the, a much bigger site. Yeah, it makes it, gives you more here, is the shower house. And that's facing that front row there. That's those sites 1 through 13. Yeah. And you got water fill-ups also. And yeah. then we have the dump sites. I mean, your uh, dump stations, mm -hmm. which is 1, 2. I thought it was more than that. I think it's 3 or 4 because there's 1 back there. So you have just these pull-throughs. And it has mm -hmm. like 4 dump stations. And that's it for this section. You have the trash down there on the end of row one, uh, one through 13. These kids go. And then on that far side over there, we haven't went over there, but it looks like a whole nother camping section. Yeah. On, the, on the other side there, it is uh, electric and water and then the primitive uh, tent camping on that side. Across the water there. Across the water. Is what you say, electric only? Electric and water. Oh, yeah. okay. Not gonna go that way. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna take a drive and uh, see what we can see. What else? I'll give you a, a, a view from this, the main entrance that you come in on. And that's that section we just rode through. 
So that very first row is one through 13. And we just happen to be in site number 10, which is not a bad site. Camping with the Abercrombies were supposed to be in sight. Unfortunately, nine. Aaron had a mishaps with his tire. So we'll catch them on the next trip. But it's beautiful, although the sun is not sh uh, shining right now. And this is the exit entrance road. So we're going to go out for a little bit. Um, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're heading into the um, recreational area, which looks like a little, like a baseball diamond over that way. They have a, a shelter house over there. Look like they're having a gathering. And uh, up here, looks like the pool. Which is a little cool today, so nobody's really out here in it. But it looks like a fairly nice place. You know, it's a lot of kids here, so if nothing else, the kids would enjoy it. Yeah, looks like they have a men and women, 12 years old, and up is um, $6. And under 12 is $5. So there is a small fee for the access to the pool area. But other than that, it's just a lot of open space. Look like they have diving boards. Look at that. They have diving boards at the pool. And, uh, pretty much uh, it a lot of trees and mother nature and grass and everything so you guys stay tuned for more videos okay everybody Vic and I are out we're gonna go into the camp store and see what we can find Vic got anything in particular you looking for nope <laughs> internet service <laughs> no internet service here guys no uh, cell phone service until you're about 10 about 10 minutes from the park and then it kicks in but while you're at the park there is no internet and no cellular service other than that the park is nice kind of where we're going in the store we'll turn it around so it's not a bad park it's nice I mean, we've experienced a, a few different things. No service with 60 plus channels, without channels. So we we've experienced it, and we we can we can handle this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Vic is a TV guy, so he he's sad right now. I told him he get to look at me for two days, two whole days. Yeah. <laughs> really, he did that. Y'all y'all heard it right? I got proof. Uh huh. So we're going. It's called the Campers Corner. We're gonna go in and see what they have. Look like they have wood over here too. The wood is seven fifty a bundle, which is eight pieces. Which is eight pieces in a bundle. So that's kind of expensive. And they got my magnets. I can see through the window. Look at there. They got magnets. So y'all stay tuned. I'll let y'all know what I get. This is like an indoor outdoor activity room they have here at Beach Fork. They have pretty flowers. They have a nice little, and like I said, this is kind of indoor outdoor. You see the opening and the doors, they kind of slide shut. It's definitely a little chilly in here. It looks like you have the office down here, have a men's inside here, the camp store office. And another entrance exit on the other end. Which you can see the beautiful mountains from here. Look at that. So they have a game room also. Looks like the kids are definitely enjoying themselves. Games for kids. So 
This is definitely a kid-friendly park. Uh, we've seen quite a few kids um, in this park. And they have ice, of course. So the basic things that you would need in a at a campground. I'm gonna head into the store, y'all. Okay, so we went in the store and um, the store has pretty much everything in it that you could think you would want. Magnets, cups, t-shirts, things like that. They're still implementing the mask. Um, so I just got a, a magnet, so I will show you all what I got. Beach fork to add to um, our fridge. What, Vic checked out the restroom. What you think? Use some work. <laughs> they they probably weren't as clean as we we've seen before. So. Yep. If you don't have to use it, don't use it. And that was in the, just the store then. Now I don't know about the shower. That was just the restrooms off of the uh, camp store there. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned. We'll be back. Hello everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, we are here this morning at Where are we at? Beach Fork State Beach Park, the West Virginia State Park. Yes. And um, this is, of course, Memorial Day weekend. This has been a dreary weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been rainy, yes. chilly, mm -hmm. um, gloomy almost. So, so we really have not been outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. We uh, tried to start a fire. Well, actually, I did have a fire going our first night here. Good fire, but then we started getting a little bit of drizzle, a little bit of light rain, heavy rain, wind. So right. we had to <laughs> shut all that down and come inside. Right, yeah. So, But we've been through that type of camping before, yeah. so... But we was hoping that we would get at least one day out the weekend, but yeah. here we are on Sunday and it's still dreary, dreary, yeah. gloomy, and chilly. Yeah. So we were able to get out yesterday for a little bit and take a drive um, because for one, this park has absolutely no internet service, no yeah. cellular service. So in this video, we're going to give you our opinion. This is mm -hmm. no one else. This is our opinion. Right. About how this park is. Right. So it's just uh, informative or information for you guys. Mm -hmm. and you can take it and use it as you see fit. Right. And like I said, we'll, the first thing, well, he said the first thing was the map. What, yeah. The map. Okay. So. <laughs> One of, and I don't know if that was, maybe there was new crew up there. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But number one on my list is when we first got here, most state parks, when you get there, they'll ask you if you know where your site is. Right. And they will offer you a map, a map to help you get to your site. Mm -hmm. And all it was for us, when we got here, they asked who we were. We told them who we were. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is your site. Okay, go through. Yeah, that so we... It. We don't have a map. We were going to show, actually show you guys a map because it seems to be a pit, a pretty big yeah. park. Mm -hmm. um, and we were going to show you the section we chose, right. but we don't have a map. So. And if it wasn't for the fact that we did our research prior to mm -hmm. to look at the sites. Right. Uh, now, their, their website had pictures. Um, I think it did. And then but, we did Google Earth also. As, yeah. you know, we always use Google Earth. Mm -hmm. And we were able to look at our site. Right. But, and if it wasn't for that, then we wouldn't have known we how to been, do it. We may have been just driving around. But yeah. I, I bet if we asked, they may have probably had somebody take us. But anyway. Us, but. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we found it. But so. that's, that's number one. Number two, and I mean these can go one or two. Right. Is that there is no cell service, mm -hmm. no internet, no Wi Fi, no right. nothing. Yeah, so luckily we had an issue like this before yeah. at um, Paint Creek mm -hmm. in Ohio, and we had the same issue, 
and we only had what four DVDs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we had four DVDs, so when we got back, we were going to fill the trailer with DVDs because mm -hmm. we didn't know. But we got more. If we, we would have had that issue again, yes. and we had it again, but we were prepared DVD-wise. Yeah. Now, as far as the cell service goes, you know, we were, you're not going to be able to call out. Nobody's going to be able to call in, mm -hmm. you know, if, if it was an emergency, and... We were fortunate enough to have this little device right here. Right. <laughs> this little device, it is A A V G O. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But this little thing here, we were able to wind it up. Like wind this, it up. It may take you back some years. <laughs> to get the weather alert. It has a weather alert mm -hmm. station that is, you know, that you can switch to right. or AM and FM radio. Mm -hmm. But with this, I was able to listen to the weather coming in. Right. Um, we were in a warning area, but everything worked out fine. Right. But uh, if we didn't have this, we wouldn't have known. And that also mm -hmm. has a flashlight on it. Cellular. I mean, not solar. cellular, I mean solar. That yeah. you can just sit this out and charge it up. So it's a so pretty handy little device. I would definitely mm -hmm. invest in one of these for this particular situation right right here yeah and um so i think that the other thing is you see behind us is that's vic's truck and beyond his truck is the shower house um but where his truck is sitting was supposed to be camping with the abercrombie site yeah. and um Aaron had a blowout with his trailer last weekend. We were all coming back from um, Atwood, Atwood mm -hmm. in Ohio. I want to go over to their website. Mm -hmm. channel. His, his channel, I'm sorry. Camping with the Abercrombies. Right. And he <laughs> talks about what happened. Uh, yeah, to, with, with, yeah. His, with his rig. Yeah, so, so hopefully check that out. He'll get that together and we'll, he'll be on the road again. Yep. Um, so, yeah, so um, if Vic wasn't parked there, that's how close your neighbor would be. So that's why I say the sites are a little close. Mm -hmm. um, they would be ideal if you did like a meetup or it was a few of you all coming and you could be right next to each other or across from each other. It would be perfect. Mm -hmm. If you come by yourself, I personally would recommend the end sites. Yeah, there's like... A total of four rows, but mm -hmm. either end site is perfect because you you don't have anybody on that side and you have plenty of grass area. Right. On and, and any one of them, any mm -hmm. one of you choose is like that. It's mm -hmm. real nice. Um, directly across from us is uh, they have a lake. You've seen that in the earlier video. Uh, we didn't, of course, we didn't get any drone footage because. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to connect to any Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi has to be hooked up from my phone to my drone, so there's no drone footage. Right. Um, and he was so looking forward to that. Yes. He and his drone, y'all. Yeah. Y'all notice in our videos, we've been kind of amping up the videos with the mm -hmm. drone footage, so I've even learned a lot about my drone, so we are mm -hmm. uh, definitely heading the right direction as far as getting our videos up to yeah. So those are one and two. Then number three, which a lot of people did not mention mm. in, in their previous videos, is the roads getting to the park. Like once you're off the highway and then you get onto the back roads, mm -hmm. um, take your time. Right. I don't care how many people may be behind you, mm -hmm. take your time. Because the roads, you can see where they just drops off. Right. And in the video, if you watch... You know, go back and watch the trailer that's in front of us. A few times his tire did drop off, but he was able to get it back on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a hairpin turn. And there is no way two trailers are going through that hairpin turn at the same time. Yeah, so somebody's going to have to stop. Yeah, so you really, when you, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you get to it. Look in the other direction to make sure there's no traffic coming because you are going to have to go wide. To make that turn yep 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 so so those are the three well that the map 
the internet, mm -hmm. cellular, the close parking, and the roads. That yeah. was four. The roads. Yeah. So, is there anything else that really stuck out to us? Uh, with the internet, I mean, you know, with your phone, we had to drive at least 10, 15 mm. minutes away from the park yeah. in order for us to get a signal. Right, so, right, right. But if anyone mm -hmm. can help us, right. help me, <laughs> because I have a high-end high uh, jet pack, which is supposed to, you know, 5G signal, but we're in a dead zone. Yeah. So if anyone can tell us or help us out, I use Verizon. Um, hey, this device here will help you out, and it's good, and you know it's good, and we're going right. to stay connected mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. matter where we go, what right. park. Right. Uh, you know, if you know a top end, go from uh, the high amount to the low amount. Right. And just, you know, give us a little help with, you know, hey, try this or do research on this. We would right. greatly appreciate it. Because yeah. I'm a TV guy. <laughs> that he is. I love watching my news. So, you know, I check out the news every morning, and mm -hmm. I have not been able to do that. So, right. so we were invited um, to the meetup on the Mohican um, by Dave. Dave is um, with Following the Fitches. Um, so if you're not, head on over and um, subscribe to uh, their channel. Um, also, we believe that S'mores Camping with the Skags are the host of this meetup. So if you're not um, familiar with those guys, head on over and subscribe to their channel. Mm -hmm. um, that's on the 11th. So we look forward to meeting you guys. Um, and we want to thank uh, Dave yeah. for helping us out a lot with our, our video. Right, right. Editing. Our Right. I reached out to Dave and, and, well, he reached out and gave me a little advice on the video. Yeah. And we definitely appreciate that because, you know, we are all new to the game. And uh, yeah, it's very we, nice for him to do that. Right. We yeah. definitely appreciate that. So shout out to Dave. Yeah. Um, we also have a meetup coming in mm -hmm. August. August, I want to say the 13th. Dave. Yeah. August the 13th. And that is at Adventure Bound Campground. Yes. <laughs> and that's with who? The Wandering Wagners. The Wandering Wagners. Mike and Lynn. Mike and Lynn. So if you guys aren't subscribed to those guys, yes. head on over to their channel as well. Um, that is the Wandering Wagners. And this is going to be the Swag Out, which was named by uh, Kenny. But Kenny... It, uh, his channel is kicking it with Kenny. Yeah. So get over there and check him and out. Check too. him out he, also. He's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah We're looking yeah. forward. I'm looking forward to meeting you, Kenny. Yes. Yeah. So we think that these meetups are going to be great. We're yes. kind of excited to do that. Yep. Um, the other, anything else? We'll probably do a live stream. stream a live, a live stream. stream on a Wednesday because we have named our weekends on Wednesday. Wednesdays. Um, so, what that, yeah, so what that <laughs> is, is our, our Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday camp out, we record and try to get the video out on Wednesday right. of what the prior week entailed. Right, right. So if you have not, um, make sure you hit that bell so you can get the notification when we upload the video. Yeah. Um, also, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. If you like our videos, please give us the thumbs up. The thumbs up helps our channel to grow. So any of the videos you check out, hit that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. And we want to thank uh, our new subscribers that we've received. We want to thank everybody for right. following the channel, but we recently had some more subscribers. Right. And we really appreciate that. It helps the right. channel grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it tells us that we are doing a good job putting content out. Guys, make sure, please leave us a comment in the box below. Mm -hmm. It'd be greatly appreciated. Right, because um, we, even when we're at work and we see comments pop up, if, if I don't chime in and answer, Vic will chime in. It really depends on who has the answer <laughs> mm -hmm. to the question. 
But we definitely appreciate comments. Uh, we want to interact with you guys as much as possible. Right. And, uh, I, I, and I, I know I've said it plenty of times in, in earlier in the video. Help us with the internet. <laughs> I gotta have my TV. <laughs> I'm having withdrawals. <laughs> so, yeah, just. Yeah, you guys have it. You, if you have the answer, yes. leave it in the comment section because yes. we want to fix that problem. Yeah. We don't want to keep going out and then we get to places. And I mean, it could be a nice park, but if we can't call out, call the family, you know, let the let them no. know we got here safely, yeah. or um, uh, let the kids know we're good, you know. So we just want to be able to interact with the outside world. Right. And, and this may not be important mm -hmm. to everybody. Right. But just think about the people who are doing this full time. Right. You know, and they have to have. And I'm I'm sure they probably already got it figured out. So that's the people we want to hear from. Right. You know. Yeah. How to take care of that problem. Yeah. So um, I think that's going to be it from us for now. Mm -hmm. um, like we said, please subscribe. Please like. Please share, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like our partic the particular video you're watching. And hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when we put out a video. Our weekends on, on Wednesday. Wednesdays. Now, um, this the following the, the next Wednesday we may do a live stream um, video. Uh, we've done one before. Since we're not going out this weekend, we probably going to try to sit back and try to maybe do a live stream, but we'll let you know how that works out. Yep. Um, also, if you have not uh, liked or follow our Facebook page, please head over and do that, uh, The Real Weekend Warriors on Facebook. Um, over there, we post a lot of pictures. We sometimes share the video that we posted um, on our weekends on Wednesday. So, if you haven't done that, we appreciate all your support. Absolutely. So, I think that's going to be it for us. So, until next time. I'm Vic. And I'm Corinne. And, and we, we are, are the, the Real, Real Weekend, Weekend Warriors. Warriors. Peace. Mm -hmm.